stray vert going on in there. No, that's okay now. Good. Right. Start around here. Okay. So that's good. And um, what we will do is delete some history again. So there we go. So now what we want to do is begin to round out the forms. And again, because we're at a low level, this, this is going to be really easy to do. Um, so I'm just going to grab these edges here, so all the way down the side here, and there, and here as well. So I'm just going to lower that ever so slightly, and we're going to do the same on the underside. Okay, and then we'll just pull those up like so. And I'm just going to push that back and up a little bit more. And I'm just going to pull these forward just a tiny bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And then what we want to do is we're going to grab. the split edge, edge ring tool, and we're going to make a split right through there. Okay, and I'm just going to shape these up a little bit, just to tidy it up, like so. And I'm just going to pull it out a little bit more, and move that back. And of course, we need to round out this area like so and what we'll do is just going to push these guys back and round that out just a tiny bit. I'm just looking at my own nail as well on my index finger so it does push back slightly there and these ones can be just a little bit wider so I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger there and also just going to widen that front area as well okay we should have something like that. Okay, and then what we want to do is we're going to grab these faces here and we're going to make our nail now. Okay, like so. And we're going to extrude. Oops. Just center that up. So we're going to extrude that like so, and then what we're going to do is just rotate that ever so slightly back in there and push it back a bit as well. And then we'll do another extrude and pull that up and forwards like so, and then what we need to do is round out the nail itself. So that's pretty straightforward. And again we're keeping the geometry very very low. Okay so in front of the nail there keep that quite flat depending on how well groomed you are. So let's just pull these forward and get rid of that point. We don't want that one. Okay so I'm just flattening the front bit of that off just a little bit more. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just round that out ever so slightly there, and just drop this back ever so slightly as well. And again, I'm just looking at my own my own nail here, and what we can do is just push that back in a little bit, like so. And also, I'm just going to widen this out just a tiny bit. And just going to do the same again.
for the front there. And there we go. So it's not too bad. Um, a good way to check as well to see how your form is progressing uh, is hit three on the keyboard. Um, it, this is in Maya anyway, and uh, you can see how it's smoothing out. You can see we still got, you know, could still probably do with a little bit of geometry just in there just to keep it um, sort of defined. But um, again, as I keep saying, we're at, we're at an early stage where you know we don't have to worry about all of this really. We're just trying to get the forms and stuff in there. But you can see it's taking shape already. So let's go back to one on our keyboard, and just going to delete some history. And I'm just going to form these out a little bit, just at the back here. Just take that sort of edge off ever so slightly. Okay. And then what we need to do, let's just add a little bit more geometry in here. And another one there. So just undo those. I'm going to pop two in there. So one there, one there, there, and also there. Okay. So now what we can do, we can add a little more sort of subtle details uh, to our fingers. Okay, just by using the scale tool. Just going to begin to just sort of round it a little bit more. Whoops. And then just looking at my finger here, it's a little bit more of a bulk sort of area there, I've got some fat sausage fingers so and we'll just pop some more form into here and just a tiny tiny bit there okay that's pretty good and what we'll do I think what we'll need to do is just bring these up just a little bit and then we'll squeeze these guys in a little bit more as well. Okay, so something like that. Then just going to bring that forward a bit. And also these two guys here. There we go. So that pretty much uh, does that for the uh, index finger. And I'm just going to lower this down ever so slightly as well, just to get a little bit more uh, form going on as well. But um, if you look at this now, um, you, you can add some more geometry just in there, just to keep those nail areas sharp. Um, as I was saying before, you know, it's, it's, we're just blocking out, but you can see where it's going. So, and also, I'm just going to tune this a little bit in this smooth poly mode, and you can see there, just by pulling these bits forward. It's uh, really begun to take a bit more shape. So I think just for this, I'm going to pull this out just a little bit more there. Okay, and we're just going to push those back as well. Okay, so just a minor bit.